Hey guys, welcome back to Ori and the Blind Forest. Uh, <laughs> dang it. Welcome back to Ori and the Will of the Wisp. This is the second game. Uh, I'm the Comic Foil. Um, just want to say, I wasn't rolling during it, but like, last episode, you know, ended on a pretty sad note in the game. Uh, but the music had this pretty cool, like, transition into when it got back to the, like, happier stuff that was just playing while I was, um exporting the last episode uh definitely check out the soundtrack to this game if you like this kind of sound in, in video games uh because it's it, it's a good one thought i saw something there okay so oh but it looks like i'm gonna need the burrowing ability Okay, so I'll have to come back here eventually. Um, and it's for a Gorlick or too, which is which is the stuff I really want. Um, so how am I supposed to pay off the quest? There is a quest to give... I guess I just have to go back to that one Moki and be like, Hey, sorry, bro, but uh, he's dead. I think that's, like, legitimately, like, what's going to happen. I don't know if this is actually saving me much of any time. Felt like it was saving time, though, so if it, if it feels like it's saving time, then it is. Wait a second. Oh, I didn't even go back to the area that I thought I did. Wait, where am I? Oh, okay, I'm on the other side of the smashy things. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting a wee bit impatient, I think, with this area. You get you gave me a dash move that I'm able to mash. I can mash the dash. And unfortunately, that's just kind of going to enable my spamming tendencies. Yeah, I need to wait for another bubble to come up this way. Oh, come on. Okay, so there's this little area up here that we can still investigate. Um, I see that there is a Gorlick ore involved up there somewhere. Um, Okay, so is this going to be another case of get the bubble up through the passage? Looks like it. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, alright. I hit the spikes a little bit. It wasn't a perfect landing, but I'll take it. Also, that guy just kind of, like, exploded next to me. Um... I see... the mark of a Gorlick ore being up here, but I don't see the ore itself. Ah, oh, I really didn't want to do that. Now I'm going to have to bring the bubble up here again. Oh, no, I can just... I can just cheat it by running through the spikes. Very nice. Okay. Oh, it's that up there. I'm an idiot. Okay. So, let's grab this. So, really, I just need to... get over here far enough. There we go. That wasn't so bad. And then... Yeah, let's look if there's anything down here worth grabbing. 
Huh. Okay, so there is something being blocked here, but I guess I'll try to not worry about it right now. Never mind. I am worrying about it again. Oh, okay. Um, up. Okay, so what are we trying to take you over to? It looks like I was able to break through that anyway with the dash, so maybe they thought I'd get over here before I had my uh, underwater dash. It's kind of what it seems like. Okay. We got a bouncy thing here. And we got a switch up here. Awesome. Okay, so all of this is going to be for another spirit shard. But hey, maybe it's a good one. I don't get that excited about the spirit shards just because there's only so many I can have equipped at a time. But some of them are really good, so it's kind of... I, like, I kind of should get more excited for them than I do. Because one of them might be something that, like, completely changes how I play the game. Okay, do I need to... I, I, I think it saved me pulling the lever. Yeah, right there. What do we got here? Oh, it's just an energy cell fragment. Okay. Still, energy cell fragments are good. We take those. Um, okay, and there's that one up here that I haven't figured out yet. Also, I see a little cranny down there I can grab. Might as well try and clean this place out as good as I can while I'm here. An enemy just walked into spikes and it passed the savings on to me. Gotta love it. Okay, so down here? Is there some kind of little alcove? Yeah, okay, I see it. Okay, so I can swim through the current to grab this. Yeah, there's still- okay, I remember trying to grab this now. Um. Okay, alright. There we go. Okay, and that's going to be some stuff I can use to buy special maps. Um, I'm going to save myself, like, not that much time warping over here. Yeah, now that I know that I can actually warp just by opening up my map, that really changes things. Uh, let me heal up a little bit here. Alright, just gonna wait for this bubble. Qualic is gone? What will we Moki do? Great guardian, great teacher, both mossy and wise. I must pay my respects, but I am not strong enough to travel back to the marsh. This amulet. Qualic gave it to me long ago. Could you bring it to his pool in the hollow? Yeah, I could do that, buddy. Um, in fact, I can probably do that right now, because I don't know if there's anything worth... I mean, uh... 
There's all this stuff I'd like to investigate, though. Yeah, I want to check this rumor. According to Ofer, knowledge unlocking the true mastery of spirit weapons lies somewhere near the Midnight Burrows. That 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 seems worth worth a gander. I'm also excited to take that one seed I got back to the glades so that um Tarny, is that his name? Uh can grow them. Yeah, they've managed to make some like worthwhile overarching side quests that are excited to see through. Um, there we go. Kind of tricked my way up there. Okay, so if I go through the water down here... Oh, nope, I need the burrow ability. Okay. Okay, no dice. Um, and I think I get a similar problem if I try to go through here, so. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of things that I just don't think I can quite do yet. Um, okay, I'm going to go down here really quick just because there's a couple, like, little alcoves and the map maker's quest said they wanted me to explore like every inch of moldwood depths. So I think I just need to like fill in some of the color here, maybe this one up here. But I can do some of that off camera. Okay, so there's a little bitty piece of something up here that I feel the need to explore. Um, I think I'm gonna have this spider guy help me out with that. Yeah, can you come down here again? Okay, you can you can help me instead. There we go. All right. Spirit orb collected. Also, I'm almost dead, so let me find a good place to heal. Oh, hey. Found this completely accidentally. Okay, a little Gorlic ore there. Um, one second. Gonna start my timer again. Okay. Um. Okay, so I want to go over here. Yeah, there's just one little corner of the map I want to explore. Which I guess will be a little bit easier now that I have uh, my fast swimming ability. Satisfying sound when you run through enemies in this game. Okay. Oh, nice. What do we got here? Uh, energy fragment? Energy cell? Okay, so I think that should satisfy Lupo, the map maker. Ma blah, 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 the map, ma map maker. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to teleport over here, and I'm going to follow the path to the left. Hit a few quests on my way back. Because we've got to tell this one guy that um, Tarni can't do anything about the corrupted plant. On their bright moons, I kept countless trees here and watched them grow. Now nights are dark and I am keeper of none. All that remains is this, my last, yes, trees only seed. I cannot watch the decay take it too. You who returned, take it as thanks for your help, even if it came too late. Nice. Okay. So I'm not even, like, gonna get to do anything with that quest, just... Um... Yeah, that was, he wanted to see if uh, Tarni could help him, and Tarni was like, Oh, all this is corrupted. We need to keep it as far away from other plants as possible. Good, good. 
then I think there should be yeah another alcove up here-ish that I'm able to explore once I once I get through these little bends the convolutions of this cave um Okay, I know I'm going past it, but I want to stand someplace and heal myself. Okay, good enough. So we go through here and up here. Okay, and now I have good enough jumps to be able to make it up here. So, energy cell fragment. Very good. Heal myself up a little bit more, and we can be on our way. Yep, if you want to just upchuck that in my general direction. Oh, they put up a little shrine to Qualic. Did it, did it give me spirit orbs for doing that? I don't necessarily think I even, like, deserve the spirit orbs. I, I think it didn't give me anything. I think it just, like, was like, yes, this is, this is an act of kindness you were doing. Okay, so we'll teleport back to the glades here. Um, we might have enough ore to rebuild something else. You know, Spirit, for a moment there, I really thought you were taking a turn for the better. For some, uh, for some, hope left a hope left no win along with the spirits of old. Qualic, he held on and saved so many. I'll do my best to carry on his work, but it feels lonelier now. I will miss him. Okay. Then, yeah, roofs over heads, or... Clear the cave entrance. I think I want to clear the cave entrance because that has more of a quest associated with it. And this is finishing touches and decorations. <laughs> Fantastic! I'll get right on that. Yeah, because um, this Moki was talking about these caves. I forget what exactly I was supposed to do. <laughs> Uh, the cave's safe and ready to explore. Well, the entrance is safe, at least. Be careful down there. Always a pleasure. Okay, and I will go back over there, but first I want to see if I can hand in my map now. Oh, this is so nice how fast I can go. Manos. Ah, the Stalker of the Silent Woods returns. So, what's out there? Sucking... Yeah, I read this already. Some paths are still blank. No, they're not. Oh, get out of here, man. This... What is still blank about this? I can see everything. Are there just some, like, little alcoves I haven't discovered yet? Is that what you're telling me? Is it like... <sighs> I don't know about this, dude. Not cool. Okay, screw that guy. I'm gonna go talk to some NPCs who appreciate me. Uh, let's go down into these burrows. Grom came and opened the hole wide, but it was not a little hole. It was a whole cave. You will need a light to go down there. The darkness hurts. Okay, good. Thank you for the heads up. I will equip Flash. Should also bring some repels in case of Zubat. Lost and found. What is the... Okay, sorry. I got... I got distracted by that ability there. By, by the achievement. Um... Thank you. 
Okay, so we got a little bit of a maze situation here. Heart-shaped acorn. Found a new quest item. It, is that what the Moki was looking for? Into the darkness. Uh, let me try that one more time. Uh, I can get higher off that jump. All right, pretty good. Okay, so that was just like a nice little loop around. My acorn, you found it. I will never let it go again. Large spirit light container. Uh, spirit light can be traded to friendly creatures, various items, and upgrades. Cool. Um, I did forget that I have enough money now to buy another map from Lupo, so I guess I'll wander back over there, even though I'm mad at him. I'm not even going to bother doing the skip ahead. I can do this so quick now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta wait till I've seen it all. Okay, energy cells or reveal shards. Um, let's reveal shards. Much obliged. Okay, and I only need 500 more to be able to buy the other map. Um, okay, I need Burrow to grab that. Uh, I know. Let's um, let's hand in some of the seeds we've collected. Forgot about that up there. Tuli, that's it. Um, did you find any seeds, Spirit? Yeah, so I got Sticky Situation. Then let's get started. So all of this is in service of letting me get around the glades more easy, easily. In my youth, I once sprinkled grass stalks on my brother in his sleep. I underestimated their stickiness. My poor mother spent hours trying to remove the tangles. Okay, um, and let's do the, the last seed. Yeah, so this is just going to be like one tree. Oh, cool, and it comes with an ability! That's awesome. Uh, he, uh. Though I have more knowledge of flowers, I know a seed like that is a rare thing indeed. Uh, he, uh. It's from an ancient tree, here long before we were, and now it's planted. This tree will stand long after. Uh, yeah. uh, All right. Um, where exactly did you put that tree? Is that over here? Um, okay, here we go. Oh, hey, buddy. Your, your kind left, but my trees fell slowly, one by one, to the decay. But you returned and found, yes, a home. Ah, safe soil for the last seed. Perhaps there is hope, yet, for new life. Perhaps the last seed will become the first tree. I mean, it's definitely a sapling already. Ancestral Light. The light of the ancient spirits fills you with power. All attacks now deal 25% more damage. Whoa. Alright. Alright, just straight offense upgrade. Um, Grom has built a good hut, and a good hut makes a good home. If you go east, could you tell my family I have found a new home? They live in the silent woods, in the first hut near the entrance. I will pay for the help, and here you might need this key. The woods are not safe, not anymore. Alright, got a key to a hut in the silent woods. Which is all the way back over here, but I can teleport to here. 
yeah, very uh, side questy episode here. But that's okay, because every little quest and every new thing I'm able to afford is slowly growing my power. Okay, so is there a... Oh, this is it, the hut. Um, oh no, are they dead? They are. Look at them, they're petrified down there. Oh no, these smokies stayed too long in the decay. They are turned to stone, along with the rest of these woods. Petrified doll, you found a new quest item. Once an object of affection, it is now stiff and gray. Ah, brutal. Yeah, we're gonna teleport right back over there. So I think the ice area and then maybe there's like a desert area, from what I can tell, are the last two places for wisps. Spirit, have you found my family in the Silent Woods? Uh, technically, yes. That is, my pup's doll. But it is stone. No. I... I must go home. Yeah. Well. I'm going to take your money. And that looks like that's it for quests around here. Um, yeah, there's still things on the ground that I need to be able to smash through when I can't yet. Hand-to-hand. Uh, -hand. Bill gave you... Yeah, that's soup. Perfect for warming up a chili mochi. Um, I don't know yet how to wake up the bear. So... Um, yeah, what now? I guess, I guess maybe we could try and explore this area some more, back where, um, where Ku got hurt, and maybe that'll land, uh, lead me to the desert, and I can learn to burrow. Yeah, this is a lot easier to um, to travel through with when it's just me. Okay, so can I go past where Q and I fought Shriek? It seems I can. I also like how they kind of let you do some of these things out of order. Or, or in no particular order, I should say. Okay, I don't know what to... Oh, oh gosh, feeding grounds. Okay, I'm... I'm not able to do all my stuff, or he's locked into a scared walking animation. What, what do you got there? Got some chicken. <laughs> Freaking Sebulba owl. Okay, so this is stealth. We're doing stealth here.
Okay, so I guess I gotta just keep finding, like, the next safe spot. Uh, there I accidentally let go of the grapple button. I thought it would stick me in place, even if I wasn't holding on to the button. Okay, so I see the updraft here. I guess you can see me there. Okay. Like, th this part is obvious because it's very clearly marked. Okay, so I gotta remember you're sticking in the background. Okay. This makes sense. It, it is, like, drawing on, like, as we've said a couple times, like, how good a owl's sense of hearing is. Wait, okay. There's clearly stuff blocking... Like, by the rules that you've set, there was stuff in the background. So I don't know why... We got some inconsistent environmental interactions here. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, so are you, like, wearing the skull of something else? Nope. Okay, I was hoping, like, under a thing. But that's not the case. Yeah, and I gotta, I gotta wait for him to to play with the dangly thing. Okay, so what is the next thing I'm hiding behind? Okay. See it? I feel like that was, like, kind of, like, unintuitive then, because I'm looking for things to hide behind instead of just going forward a certain amount. It doesn't really matter. It didn't take me that much time to figure out. But okay, we found the ancestral home of, what, the Gorlicks? Yeah. The Gorlick Knots. We can see ghosts in the sand here, Ori. This was the home of the Gorlick before the decay drove them underground. Is this what all Nguyen will become if we cannot bring back the light? Alright, the windswept wastes. So, new area here. Um, yeah, I would very much like to get the burrowing ability that definitely exists. They can't hide it from me anymore. Here, can you come back up? Um, I tried to do a bash, but actually I wasn't able to. Interesting. Yeah, and here the Gorlicks have, like, maces and stuff. I, I like the grapple points that have, um... That have teeth on them. That's just kind of funny to me. They're carnivorous versions of the plants that I grapple to. Um... The Lone Shovel.
I was not expecting this bug to jump twice. But that's okay, not a big deal. Uh, this... Interesting, this shell stays active here. And is still interactable. I bet there's different, uh... Puzzles I had to do with that. Okay, so I can't... Interesting. Okay. We can play with that more in a little bit. But... For now... Um... I would like to vault, though, because I would like to get that life cell up there, but I don't think I can. Alright, we got a pot of sand here. Yeah, I need... Maybe I can get, like, the slam ability that, like, slams down into the ground... Does Spirit Smash do anything? Oh, it does! Nice! Okay, I finally found a use for this thing. Feels good. Feels good being smart. Okay, was there anything up there? Not that I can access yet. I like a good desert area. I I, I like the warmth I can feel. Though this, this desert doesn't seem particularly warm. Probably because there's no sun. This would probably be pretty cold as far as deserts go, which deserts do get very cold at nighttime. Um, you're trying to lead me somewhere, I see. Okay, we gotta use the, uh, sand. We gotta use sand quickly. Alright, so that opened a door in the ground that lets some sand get through and the sand gets caught on the tree that allows me to jump off it. That is the physics we are practicing here. Alright, and I got me another little puzzle here. Okay, we want to... We, we want the projectile to be able to hit this sand. Unfortunately, the sand grows back very quickly. Got it. Last stand. Uh, deal 20% more damage when below 15% life. That could be good. I don't always go for those kinds of abilities where you're stronger at low health because I always try to play in such a way that I'm never, never at low health. And then I feel silly for wasting a slot on that kind of ability. I'm afraid I'm just too much of a pro for abilities like Last Stand. Though there's, like, the, Mar the Paper Mario speedrunners who use the Last Stand badge to, like, turn Mario into a killing machine. And they just stay at low health throughout the entire game. Oh, I never looked at this screen. Wow, look at all of that. That's a that's a pretty cool um, collection screen. Okay, each of these are associated with quests. Oh, 
Okay, this isn't sinking sand or anything good. Yeah, I gotta be more willing to just spam the arrows because they're really good and nothing's really stopping me from doing that. I didn't even need that grapple point there. Oh, hello. You look like a friendly Gorle Gorlek. Huh? Traveler. A word? No, don't worry. I escaped the corruption that befell many of my kin, but there is one problem. You don't happen to have any water, do you? I fear my canteen broke in a fall. Oh, Not that I'm thirsty. We Gorlek are tough. I could survive in the desert for days. But a drink of fresh water now and then is good for the spirit. And my spirit is parched. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Um, yeah, let's look back at the map again. Okay, I think we're coming up on time for this episode. So, um, I'm just going to enjoy this beautiful sunset here. I'm the Kong Foil, and I will catch you guys next time.